of setup this has never taken this long to set up before so i'm gonna complain for a little bit but we got guests so i can't complain in front of our guests so i'll do it after first off this is episode 281 of the poor horseman podcast you got lp ah jc here also don p and then uh divisional playoff participants oh. <laughs> yes for the first time ever in my life pretty much yeah and, and because the playoffs are going on we have two special guests with NFL experience because none of us have done anything on a professional level. So it was important <laughs> for us to have some hoes and some NFL players. Oh, we all though. may have done that. Yeah. Right? But this is different. This is different. Please, we've got. <laughs> How y'all feel about that? <laughs> we got. Ordinary we, guys getting on your women, man. We got. They for everybody. They for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please introduce yourself to that. Kevin, I'll start with you, brother. Kevin Rutland. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguar, Kansas City Chiefs, Bay, University of Missouri. Right, and move your mic just a little closer, just in right case. Here? All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother Jadon, please. Uh, Jadon Mickens, eight year NFL vet, going on nine years, just finished with the Colts, Super Bowl champion, and a lot of other accolades in between. And and uh, University of Washington, University yeah, of Missouri. Missouri yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we just wanted to have y'all here today as we got started. Divisional round, going to the NFC and AFC championship. Last night, the 49ers, they, by the skin of their teeth, beat the Green Bay Packers. So I don't feel so bad. I'm a Cowboys fan. That's I don't feel so bad about the Cowboys. Yeah, I know. Yeah, y'all ain't all I got to do me that way. I don't feel so bad about the Cowboys losing because Green Bay was actually good. They were better. Look at this. Uh, Come on. Who, who, who phoned on? I don't know. Can't too. Hey, can't too. Turn it on. Oh, 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 I don't know. It sounds like the music you listen to. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is a real po professional yeah, podcast, y'all. Yeah. All right. So why was the ringtone white? <laughs> <laughs> Joy so, straight. <laughs> we want to hear from y'all too. Mm -hmm. And Jada, I'm gonna start with you since you've won a bowl. Yeah. What's it like right now when the playoffs are going? And you know you got a team with the possibility of winning a Super Bowl. Uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, I didn't realize it until after the second game we won, or uh, you know, the clock actually going down to hit zero zero. But you don't get the feeling because you, you you're going through training camp, and and you know what you want to get to, but it's really just game by game and you not you, do, you don't try to stress making the playoffs or winning the division until it's actually, yeah, this game or this time. So being in that position, uh, it, it, it give you goosebumps, but at the same time, if you're a true pro and you're surrounded by true pros, which that's why they're probably in those positions that they are now, that, that'll make you realize that you could really do something special and doing something special is really a couple games away. And that, that, that amp you up to a whole nother level. And, and, and it actually makes you better uh, as a football player. I, I played my best football when I was going through the playoffs and becoming a Super Bowl champion. I was honed in on the details, the intricate details of the playbook, uh, my alignment, my assignment. If somebody got hurt what I need to be, I knew everything. And then I made my teammates understand everything, especially while being a vet and having some young guys in that position that never been. So it, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. So that's when you really turn up then, it sounds like. Like the playoffs is when the focus has to be there. Yeah, yeah, the it's already lit though. We, we already ready to that. But yeah. the playoffs, it goes up another level. It's, it's yeah, boy, I'll see you after the game. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. But but you might be you might want to fight me after yeah. that. I love you, though. Yeah, yeah. But, but the playoffs and, and what it can do and that extra little chicken, uh, that all matters. Yeah, because the bread is real. Y'all yeah, do get incentive yeah, bread yeah, for yes, the ball. Yeah, yes. Yes, yeah, sir. that is real. Kev, what would you think, bro? I never got that that extra bread he's talking about, though. Oh, come on, man. I never made it to the playoffs. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, that kind of shows how hard it is to get it, to get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, what, you wasn't there with, when the Jazz, when, when did the Jazz go that's deep That's my that year when I was there in 17, 18. 17, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, he was gone 14. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. it's not easy to make it to the mm -hmm. playoffs and then even to get as far as he going to, to win it all. People understand how hard it is, dog. Like, I used to play my rookie year. I remember asking some of the vets, like, yo, we, we might have lost the game like 17 to 10, but it was a dog fight the whole game. I'm asking, like, yo, it's always as hard. They were like, it's always as hard. Every week is that hard. So for somebody who can win at that level, 
Y'all understand how hard it is. I got two partners that one has won the Super Bowl and one went. And you talk about like lightning striking to make it to the to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it's lightning striking to make it to the league, just in yeah. general. True, but to win too, yeah, no, that's not easy. That's not easy. So I look. I used to watch the games. I'm in the NFL watching on TV, like you know, jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash yeah. playing in the, in the Super Bowl or or the playoffs. It's dope. What's what, I wanted to go back to to my man because you made it all the way to the Super mm-hmm. Bowl. What's recovery like week by week, making it that far into? What's recovery like for y'all? As far as what? As far oh, as the just, body? Yeah, the body. Like, cause I I be wondering, like, man, I know these niggas, especially dudes yeah. that really play and really get the ball and really yeah. got to do their job. Through the through the course of eighteen weeks, well, you really got you know what I mean. I'm saying. 21, 22 weeks because mm-hmm. you got to factor in the, the 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 preseason. You have to factor in training camp. And then also I personally factor in those two, you know what I mean, strenuous weeks. I mean, strenuous months that we got to get ready mm-hmm. for, you know what I'm saying, training mm-hmm. camp in the season. Because yeah. that's uh, that's the hardest season in its own. That's mm-hmm. when I'm, you know what I mean, out there throwing up, out there call, out there giving it my all. I'm up early, <laughs> I'm down late, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's getting you ready for that. When you get to the season, I, I see y'all at – six in the morning yeah. and then I'll be out the door at about three o'clock if I get a little extra treatment four o'clock so it's, it's a little better but just on your body it's more so making sure you stay on top of your, your little muscles making sure you get those uh, uh, massages making sure you your hyperbaric chambers you're drinking your water uh, you're making sure you're eating consistently it's mm-hmm. literally a job like yeah. you have to push yourself to making your body yep. a job and yep. making sure when I go out there every chance I get I have to perform even in practice because they watching yep. oh, they man. seeing when you slow down and they seeing oh you was running 21 miles per yeah. hour and man. they got more technology yes yeah, so it's yeah. all that you yeah. can see when the body is breaking down mm-hmm. nowadays so mm-hmm. yeah, I mean to keep your body up and the biggest compliment when I was just with the coach we just ended our season uh, that I got was man you still moving fast you still have that. You got the same still, receiver speed, same yeah, 40 speed. Yeah, but one. also yeah. they also saying that to like just the whole season, your age, your everything, mm-hmm. like all that factors in. So to still be maintaining and moving, you have to take care of your body at a whole new level, mm-hmm. especially yeah, the playoffs, yeah. because you can't go in there with no, you don't want to go in there with no dings, bruises, mm-hmm. or nothing like that. You want to go in there, man, feeling yeah, like it's Because you're going to give it your all. It's yeah. the last football yeah. game and, you're going to play. And coach is going to allow you during the, uh, that, that that end of the season stretch. You're not really going to practice like that. Y'all, we're going to be in helmets yeah. two mm-hmm. times in the week, and mm-hmm. then we're going to do walk-through, 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 and then we're mm-hmm. expecting the professionals mm-hmm. to show up on Saturday. And I know how to run. I know how to catch. I know how to do what I need to yeah. do. Know my assignment, and I'm going to pop out. Mm-hmm. I got a question for you. Uh, we the, might have y'all scoop just a little bit up because I'm, I'm afraid that that sound oh, yeah, 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 you get yeah, knocked yeah, out yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. like, we don't want that make sure that <laughs> camera good. angle didn't mess up too much and we should be good okay go ahead but uh, what's the mental fatigue like because how many winning seasons did you play because you None, right? None. It's That's crazy. God, so, damn. so, 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 what's that mental fatigue like? Because I know you're going out there, you're giving it your all. Y'all not coming up with the victories mm-hmm. that you, you so, know, playing out to. When you leave college ball, mm-hmm. usually, I mean, not every college player is going to be winning, but we happened to win games in Mizzou while yeah. I was there. So that first season, I think in Jacksonville, we might have gone like five and eleven, mm. something like that, mm-hmm. and. It wears on you. Only one you're a rookie. You got the rookie wall. You know what I mean. Yeah. After yeah. week like 10, 11, you like, hey, I'm tired of football. Yeah, you're true. not used to going 13, 14 weeks. Right. But the mental fatigue from from being on a losing team, it's, yeah. it's it wears on you. Yeah, man. Because you, especially you got partners with success. Yeah. Uh, we 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 got to go. Yeah, play yeah. Y'all, we doing this. Yeah. And you at home. Yeah. It starts wearing on you. So then you got to fight. All right, I'm losing games, but I'm still making money. So now do I succumb to that too? Yeah. You see that? I mean, yeah. I think my second or third year in Jacksonville, it was a lot of cats. Week 14, we we two and 14. Cats are like, hey, y'all boys just stay healthy today. <laughs> right. Wow. right. That's really? it. You only right. won one game. That's crazy. Yeah. It's week 12. Yeah. yeah. Y'all stay get healthy. Out here healthy. Get out of here healthy. But I've never been on a team where it's people like, hey, stay healthy because we got to make a playoff run. It's stay healthy. Just yeah. why just get so hurt you when, you, when you one and 13? Why yeah. get hurt? Exactly. Right. Yeah, man. So it, it'll, it'll weigh on you, man. Um, but I, I, I can't lie. You still get a check. Yeah. yeah. So you got to be professional. You got to be professional, but at the same time, how sad can you be if you just made a good amount of money for a loser? So, you know so how I mean? does it yeah. feel then? But do you want to be in that mind state? Because no. y'all grew you don't want to be there. That's no. what I'm saying. Y'all, we grew up playing no. football all our yeah. life. You love it. And it's just like, damn, now honest, I'm just man, playing I, for the That was my check. first time ever going through losses like that. Yeah. 
You went to North to, Shore? Yeah. How was y'all at North, North Shore? Shore. Maybe cool. one stayed in North yeah, Shore. Yeah, we was just you talking about mean? that. Okay. Yeah. What, what, you, you from yeah. California, though, right? Yes, sir. LA. Yeah. How, how was your high school football? Uh, our high school football was monumental. It, like how these guys talk about, you know, Texas football and Florida football. Mm -hmm. I come to a, from from a state of football of the DeAnthony Thomases of the okay. world. Okay, all right, okay, hey, okay. Hey, man, I we go. Yeah, I mean, so we playing we playing each other. You know what I'm saying? Robert Woods as Sarah. These yeah. guys. This is my high school football. The guys mm -hmm. that we see now and that's mm -hmm. are the best guys now and has been the best guys because I've been, this will be my ninth year coming up. Yeah. So like you throw in another 20 years of just those guys in mm -hmm. that, that that realm, I played against the best of them. Now and I'll say it was watered down now. Okay. And I say it was a it was slightly watered down coming in. So the new regime really took it to a whole new level. So so North Shore now, y'all, yeah. that's a Texas staple. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, in Definitely. Houston, that's one of the best high, school. high schools in general. They just lost the state this year. They just year. lost in state this year. Yeah. 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 They football program. It's cold. cold. Yeah. Probably still the best, though. Uh, who, is the, who is the best out of Texas right shit, now? Duncan, Katie, uh, Katie Duncan always Duncan, 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 I'm not going to lie to y'all. Who still watch Who still watch high school football? These boys going seven on seven and getting the scholars. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do I need to go hurt yeah. my body and do all that when I'm about to go score 16 yeah. touchdowns in two of these games at one of these little college little yeah. things mm -hmm. and I get my scholar? My, my nephew played for the Lillard team out in uh, Oregon. And yeah, they be traveling, doing all they get. Crazy. Yeah, they playing, my people was playing. They playing now. Yeah, yeah. Like when do y'all stop playing? Football? They don't. They don't. But that's the thing. That's how you get burnt like out. AAU. That's Facts. true. And that, they don't think about AAU basketball. Kind of went to AAU football now it too. Because yeah. those kids do get burnt out. Yeah, look about it, all these all these ACLs, Achilles, this, yep. that, that. You got to understand. Back in the day, it was everybody. We all played every sport. When yeah. did you mm -hmm. not hoop? My yeah. first sport yeah. was hooping. Yeah. Yeah. I just wasn't tall enough. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> like, man, let me stick to, you know what I'm saying? Let's make it make sense. Let's make it make sense. So it was like we played the sports. We gave our body that time. We was outside, not outside. Our no, club. we know what you're saying. We yeah, was, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Throwing rocks and yeah, playing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Having a good time. So our bodies was able to mature in a rate that it will last us a longevity career. Nowadays, it's just like these boys got NFL-type bodies in high school, like y'all yeah, been yeah, going true. through it, y'all been mm -hmm. hey this. I got AC short. I'm like, boy, you got. I, I ain't never that. had yeah. no None injury that. in high yeah. school. None Twisted that. ankle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Told we, we had, but we had the ACLs. Injuries. Y'all gotta go yeah, to the doctor, got the, like yeah. for real. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's 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 a little crazy. Niggas was playing on their ACL tears in my in my high school. No, 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 no. It just you know it was the thing. That was back in the day. You were heel fast. So it would be like, how the hell he did? I mean, your kid. Damn. Yeah, no, that that, that is yeah. a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. So let let's talk through then, like the mentality of these games right now, mm. because we got a Lions fed here. That's, that's unfortunate. The, I, I know you're watching the clock. That's unfortunate. unfortunate. I, I know you're watching yeah, the clock. That's crazy. They on top of the world right now. Right now. I ain't gonna lie. So you said right now, that right. don't matter. Yeah. It does to me. It hey, do does to me. Do the Texans matter right now? I look. Ask the Cowboys fan. Nah, but uh, they never yeah. matter. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, who was the best team in the NFL a couple years? Yeah, I mean, a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, man, the Cowboys was the best Straight complete up, team, yeah, blah, 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 and go in there and do nothing. I'm worried about it. now. So, as as a Lions fan, you talk about, like, losing and shit. Yeah. Like, you see niggas waver. Like, you uh -huh. see mm -hmm. people, I've like, never wavered. Yeah. I haven't wavered. He said, I've been a Cowboys yeah. fan forever. He held true. That I held true. true. Tough. Yeah, that's it is. Is. <laughs> I was doing push-ups the but, other day because of the Cowboys. Anywho. Uh, yeah. I've been 0-16. Been mm -hmm. like still room for my team. My best friend played for the Bears. He played for the Falcons and he went to the Bears. Okay. And then I went up there. Still lying shit. You know, I'm in enemy territory. But yeah, he understood yeah. since high school, I've been a Lions fan. So it uh -huh. couldn't be like no... Uh, I, I'm just coming up there now yeah, just to yeah, get yeah. some whole shit. Nah, this is my squad. Mm -hmm. They made me zip up my jacket, <laughs> but I had some Lions and Max on, so they couldn't even make they couldn't make me take them off. It's cold uh, as hell. Yeah, yeah. Ironically, it's Calvin Johnson's last game, so I got to see that live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like to to be through all that to right now, like shit, we a game away. We handle business today. We go to the goddamn NFC Championship. Yeah, okay, yeah. so thinking of uh, the Lions. Do they have more pressure right now than the Bucks? I mean, I think they all have pressure. No, okay. Everybody has pressure. But who has, yeah. like right now, the, the, the Lions are the favorite. Like, Lions do they have the more pressure right now? And the Bucks, we didn't expect them to be where they are either. Okay. So I would say the pressure's on the Lions. One, you have, how many years was it? it was Without 30, a playoff? 32 years. 32, 32 years, years, you know what I mean? And they have a good team. 
the Bucks with Baker Mayfield, nobody expected him to be here. Mm. Now, that, in my opinion, that conference was weak. Atlanta was weak. The Saints were weak. You know what I mean? So I don't think it was hard to yeah, come I mean, out of that. That's facts. But <laughs> and they barely got out of it. And they barely, like yeah. that came down to the last game. But what I kind of attested to this run. It's it's about runs though. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like it's NCAA it. tournament, right NBA. Mm -hmm. Well, not so much NBA because you got to win four games. But mm -hmm. NCAA, all you got to do is win a game. Win a game, and you get hot. Mm -hmm. So this dude can really be on some Kurt Warner shit. Yeah, that's how not he got up. on. He so really could. He could be on some yeah. Kurt Warner shit. So I'm not. Everybody like, oh, line. I ain't doing that shit. Even yeah. last week when yeah. St. Brown got the catch and it's mm -hmm. under two minutes, mm -hmm. I still wasn't celebrating. I, I, was like, I watched him watch the. Game I was like, and, yeah, until that bitch is like in 30 yeah. seconds, Zeros, yeah. that's when I'm, I'm so Jay Donna looked like you exactly. had a difference of opinion on the pressure. What do yeah. you think? I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, how do you win football games? You gonna overthink it or you gonna make it make sense? That's, that's what's up. all I gotta do is get one more point than the other team. Mm -hmm. That's that's mm -hmm. that's that's the name of the game. Yeah. So it don't matter who you got out there, quarterback. You and then you gotta understand. I played on that Tampa team. That team is still that team. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no. all you gotta do is come in there. You manage the game. But not only that, he this man is not managing the game. He's throwing for three hundred yards and saying. rushing for another 30, 40 yards. But he a gunslinger and he didn't win the Heisman Trophy for nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's and I'm a like, sooner. So yeah, he's so, thinking that way. Still, you got a dog Just right because there. of your your career and how it panned out and how this, if you turn it on and this team works for you, because that's the name of the game in NFL yeah, yeah, team. Yeah. If you yeah. get a guy that's man, he's making two thousand yards a season, and then you throw mm -hmm. him over there. Who is he again? You know what I'm saying? Now he's not in that same system, in that same offense. Baker's a guy where you just got to allow him to be him. Allow him mm -hmm. to play, excuse my language, fuck it, football. Nah, you right. You That's seen true. that when right. he yeah. dropped back and yeah. throwing this, the most highlight to play last yeah, week? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, fuck it. Chris down there somewhere. And that yeah, should have been a pick. Hey, ain't it pressure on everybody, though, in the playoffs? Like, I am I'm, I know that there's pressure on more than one uh, – um, on one team and the other to us, maybe the regular mm -hmm. football player. Mm -hmm. But when both teams there, the pressure is on. It's it's an equal That's amount of what pressure. He's saying. It is yeah. pressure no it's matter just, what. It's, it's yeah. the playoffs, and you don't know when you're gonna be back. Exactly. You may not yeah. ever get back. And you exactly. said you, you know never I mean? made the playoffs. Never made it. You know what I yeah. mean? So you yeah. got some guys who have made it once. Yeah. But I don't know how many teams have like been subpar all season, turn on the playoffs and make it run. When he with the Bucks. The Bucs kind of commanded that whole season. Mm -hmm. Did they drop a game or two? Yeah. But yeah. you still know it's a solid team. So the, the work doesn't change, like you're saying. Right. We still doing what we did week one, two, three. It's yeah. the same squad. You still got Tom Brady, you know what I mean? Yeah. But so that's why I don't really know if the Bucs can pull it off. I don't know how many teams are just. Let me ask y'all this then, because y'all in the locker room. Mm -hmm. So we speaking on the Bucs, and we just saw the implosion of the Eagles. Because that was one team that was going all out this mm -hmm. whole year. Ten and one. Mm -hmm. And then just plummeted at the end mm -hmm. of the year and then lose on the stage where they yeah. how they lost. So Injuries. how is that locker room? You know what I'm saying? If y'all in that locker room, how is that locker room? Uh, a lot of dudes are, you know what I'm saying, they, they they probably built up a self, you know what I mean, making sure that they do what they do, so they're supposed to do and not dwell on a lot of things. Mm. A lot of dudes is woe is me. Hmm. Uh, a lot of dudes is, is, you know what I'm saying, pointing the blame game. Offense need to do this. They need to do that. Coach mm -hmm. need to put me in a better position. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of dudes are standing on business and sticking together no matter what. Mm -hmm. So if they can create that foundation that they had when they did make that run, they they'll be in a good position, but if not, you know what I'm saying? Are they they end up they still in the playoffs, right? No, Ooh, they're they the Eagles done. The Eagles right? lost. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. I, I ain't been, this, this is why I, yeah, we're I saying been, I ain't been watching football well, to the point <laughs> to yeah. the one who yeah, lost, yeah. but I just know yeah. the teams. But I'm a teacher, so when yeah. I, when I check out, I don't really. Want That's to a, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's it's, it's really on there. I mean, yeah, it's. it's I think it's, it sounds like leadership with the Eagles. You think so? I don't know, man. Because that was a weird season to me. No, they're being figured out. That's uh, true. Okay. 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 Last okay. year, like they made it look real easy. It did. I it mean, I thought Jalen. I mean, I thought he was gonna win the MVP this year. Yeah, yeah but now nah, they might be getting figured out. You, they I mean, figured out. Everybody yeah. gets figured out. Mm -hmm. And but the only way not to get figured out by playing with a Tom Brady that I play with is you allow the game to just come to you. If it's cover two and the middle of the field open, yeah. how about we run a route? To take the middle of the field right take there. And let's see. Yeah. Take what they give you. If they're giving you five yards on first and ten, but you know this post route is what we've been working on all week, 
throw the five and ten, let them drop step and get eight, and let's mm-hmm. get let's start second and one, or maybe get the first down. Yeah. You know how was saying? how so, was Tom in the locker room? Man, amazing. For real, amazing. Cool. I want to know. Too, real yeah. team oriented guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, yeah. I ain't yeah. even gonna lie. I'm not gonna give you no commercial spill. I'm gonna give you the real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm not a dude that's gonna talk too much on a lot of little different things that right. people wouldn't want me to talk about. Yeah. But at the same time, Tom was a very very great teammate, mm-hmm. a very good person. The first day I met him, he knew my name. He made sure. He knew all his teammates' name. Wow. Uh, it, it's stories that I can go on, bro. We can be here for three, four, five, six wow. hours because yeah. we did a whole playoff run. Then I had another year with him. So it was just yeah. like everything that that dude, that, that he brought to the table with, with, with his attitude, his charisma, his knowledge uh, to the game, and just him being not Tom Brady but a human being mm-hmm. is what took it over the hump for me. So he made us better as people. And not only that, but he made us better as football players. And I'm still, to this day, able to play and able to still get calls because of not only the knowledge that I bring to the table with my game, but the, how he taught us how to take care of your body mm-hmm. and how he taught us how to prep, uh, prepare. Yeah. And that's, that's the that's biggest crazy. thing when it comes wow. to these games is preparation. Yeah. So if you prepare it, I mean, I don't care if you run 4-2, bro. I know at eight yards, this back shoulder coming, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm going to make that play, and then mm-hmm. we're going to have a great game. So preparation is key. And Tom Brady was the epitome of preparation. He had us uh, Super Bowl week six in the morning, five in the morning, going through the script that that we were about to get taught three hours before. So before, while wow. they're teaching the script, everybody already know. We know the signals that we already right, came up with. Up. So damn, when we get damn. to practice, we're doing the walkthrough before they get us to do the walkthrough. Mm. So everything is sharp. We don't even have to be in the building that long. Yeah. So it's another level. Wow. So what's crazy, it's crazy about that is that right before his regime was James. Yes. And that's when my boy played for the And I was with him two games. Yeah. Yeah, I was with James. I played with James two games. Came to us Christmas spy. It was beautiful. So the difference in I seen the difference in that dynamic. Just hearing how you talk about mm-hmm. Tom. And then I seen the difference with him. Cause I was there for their New Year's party. Yes, sir. And mm-hmm. and <laughs> Buddy was not that. He, uh-huh. The <laughs> polar opposite. And mm-hmm. so, you know, he just got that whole slack with the whole the uh, handoff uh, with the victory formation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like just hearing that made me bring that up because it was like total opposites, like fucking magnets. Right. That shit was totally different. <laughs> well, yeah, right. Yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah, James but Tom Brady. like James Winston was on one. Yeah, he's a talented player though. We was at the game when he did the the licking shit. We was at the game. The reason why Tom Brady is so successful is not only because he has the 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 command of the people that's on the front line with him. He got the command of the people around him. You know what I'm saying? So we doing walkthroughs and we are going 100 yards. This after practice, just 100 yards. This is what we're gonna do on third and down. This is what we're gonna do on second and ten. If he's flat footed, if I give you this, this is what he's gonna do. Or this is what we're gonna do. So he told Mike Evans. Chris Godwin, y'all get to the back of the line. I want the, the the dudes that's on the practice squad who might not ever play. I want y'all to get in the front of the line and y'all going to go in the sixes with me and I'm going to teach y'all the things that I tell Mike and them. If they ever get hurt, y'all going to be knowing exactly where I need you and it's going to be easy. And I'm going to tell you to stop. I'm going to tell you to be there. I'm going to tell you to st- yeah, I'm going to put the ball on. If I put it on the left shoulder, turn left and run left. Somebody coming to your right. It's a different level. So now when Chris Godwin got hurt, I'm I'm in the locker room. Hey, uh, Jay, uh, just be ready. Um, yeah. Chris might be down. You <laughs> you you might you might play a lot. Boom. Okay. Then bam, I get a text. Man, show up at six o'clock to the to the uh, uh, six o'clock. So this early for Monday Night Football. But show up to the stadium a little early. Tom is already at the stadium. Mm. Come on. So bro. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there just going over the plays. Just going over the plays. Chris can't go. You got to start. I end up having a uh, tie for targets with Mike Evans, uh, having 58 yards and having four uh, third down completion, uh, three third down compl- uh, conversions mm. and one fourth down. Mm. And one was to keep the drive alive to score the winning touchdown. Mm. So what if I wasn't prepared? And what if right. he didn't yeah, do yeah. that uh, 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 to the point to make his team all better and all ready and prepared? It's a different level. Damn. So now you got. Because I'm the punt returner and the kick returner. Mm. But I promise you, bro, I'm the best receiver on this team. He going to say that. He going to say that. He So if the seventh to sixth receiver is hanging his situations down and dragging it across <laughs> here like he ain't got no business, like I'm 40 million, and not only that, I'm playing like it and I'm prepared like it, you're going to have a long time. And that's why Kansas City had a long fucking time. If you kick me this ball, I'm going to run this bit. I'm gonna run it back. Mm-hmm. Run the hell back. Every time. And I'm not fair catching because I see y'all got receivers because I know they're not about to they're not about to tackle. Yeah. 
So now I understand <laughs> yeah. the game. And then now you throw on the speed and you throw on the perceive. You put all the little intangibles with it. Now we're scary. Now we can consistently do eight years, nine years, and you That's get wild. signed for, hey, man, we about to go to the playoffs. We might need a returner. All right, let's do it. I'm in, okay, I'm in shape. Okay, okay. Okay. Shit. Yeah. 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 And then that's you how you get it. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. All right, so who was y'all toughest matchup then? Like for you, who was your toughest matchup on it? And you as a defensive back, you are a receiver. So what was your toughest matchup? As far as the DB? Yeah, DB. Oh, yeah, I would definitely have to say Jalen Ramsey, of course. Yeah, Jacksonville, I had him every day. Every day. He the best, man. He is. I believe Hall of Fame. Oh, for sure. He has the Super Bowl. He has the accolades. He has the years in. He has the respect of the league for for two generations and he could go for three so it's like it's true so you say ramsey then yeah he's the okay. guy he's okay. the guy Let me everybody gets beat so yeah of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, receivers drop ball quarterbacks throw bad mm-hmm. passes dbs get mm-hmm. beat yeah but he's the best i'd rather yeah. him get beat oh they beat Jalen for the win the game yeah you know i mean it's i'm lying <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather yeah, him than anybody yeah anybody like why you have him on him straight up so who is your toughest cover man dope B. Marsh was nasty. He was? Uh, B. Marsh. First really? off, he huge. I don't know if y'all seen oh, him in person. That's I haven't it. seen him in he person. Had the most rec- he had the he did have that one record for most receptions. He did. Mm-hmm. In the that game? man, when he catched the ball, he turned to a tailback. How big How big is he in real life, though? He's 6'4", 6'5". But who else? Hold on. I guess he's 6'6". I guess who else did you go against at that time? Who else did you go against at that time? At that time? I mean, you got to think, Indy was getting old. So it's not me. Got Ty kind of young. Yeah. Um, Ty was cold. Ty was cold. He was, he was cold. Nice. cold, especially uh, in Houston. Yeah. Oh, and then you got Dre. Yeah, 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 yeah. We played them in Houston. He had like two oh five against us one time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you taking B Marsh over Andre? By this time, Andre was slowing down. Yeah. You must not. But play he was always Antonio. consistent. You must not play against Antonio I Brown. Never, I never saw Antonio Brown. That's why we ain't having That's a conversation a about it. There we go. So Antonio so Pittsburgh. Antonio Brown is the best receiver. So to other ever than there. the stuff that he doing right now, lie. you know, where people are saying that he kind of maybe ruining some of his legacy, bro. Is he and really that? He he really Antonio, Antonio Brown, Brown is the best receiver yeah. to ever live. And y'all oh. y'all y'all can go to each one y'all, and then I can break it down. Every, on why, every, on why every, he's the best I believe to ever live. To ever live. To ever live. No, 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 no. Nah, I mean, yeah. you, okay. You, I mean, why, 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 why. people going to say Jerry Rice. Let's break it down. And, yeah, and, 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 and God bless And God bless him. <clears throat> I, I respect all those guys. Calvin I, I, Johnson. Calvin but, Johnson. Calvin. But, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. But I, I seen AB multiple times. We can watch a 20 minute highlight of him going up on two, three people as well. That's true. That is true. That's true. And then we can watch AB. We can watch AB run punts back. The most five to Okay, six. let's break it down this Kicks. way. Two, route, two. route running. A-B. Route running. He's the best at route running? No. No, Persist- he's not the best route running. He's the I'm best just, receiver. He's complete. Saying, put it all just complete. complete, complete I'm just receiver, saying, well, if we're going to break it yeah. down, you, they would say Jerry Rice is the, the best route. He wasn't the fastest guy. The route running. No, no, I respect Jerry Rice, but they was mm-hmm. back, they was backpedaling at 20 yards. Still, Jerry Rice used defenses that. Defenses were different. Moss, That's they true. would say yeah, if I, he if was... I put, if I put Jalen on Jerry... It might be trouble for, for Jerry. I'm sorry. Really? I mean, he gonna, he Wait, hold on. He hold on. Get like choked. Telling the truth. I know. Choked. We just telling the truth for respect. Like, like, it's just like that's when tough we talk to hear about. Get choked. No, that's, that's just real. like NBA talk when yeah. we talk about like how like if. Durant was playing against the Oakleys and shit like that. Yeah, come on, bro. Come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, he, no, bro. he would have 80 points a game if he was saying. <laughs> yeah, because the game changed. The game changed. The game changed. Durant, 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 Durant yeah. back then? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But you just said the relationship you have to have with your quarterback. So, that, you know, he had... Uh, you had Montana. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, that's different in itself. Montana. He's in that system. So, you mean to tell me you can put A.B. in any system and Did he'll show up? Did you see him go to the Patriots and score a touchdown when he didn't know the plays? Did you see him come to the play? Playoffs with only six games and be number three on our team when he didn't play in 16 I games. Did see that. Lee almost lead us in yards and receptions, and they telling him the route in the game. Yeah. I would say he was on pace to being the best ever, if not for, for whatever sure. he had. Everything going was going on. With yeah. Big Ben and them that day, he, he would have definitely he he would've would've broke, he broke all them yards. All it them, wouldn't be close. Until the Super Bowl from that them yeah. six, that six year span, we was he he would have broke everything, bro. Everything. I never saw him live. I never played against him. But he was real though. I've seen him in practice every day. 
He was real. He was going real. to his house, vibing with him, studio sessions. Like I seen his preparation. I seen yeah. him at six in the morning getting worked on, like it's a game day, but this is a Wednesday practice. I used to watch yeah, it yeah. too. He's right. feeling good on Wednesday, was, like so, he is on his, his Sunday. His preparation shit was insane. Yeah. On, on, on yeah. Wednesday, you know, some people be out there. <laughs> a little sore, but they right. off on too. So he, Wednesday's like the, the so he taking it serious. After the Sunday, he week. got he got the doctors at at his spot on Sunday night. Yeah, yeah until four right. in the morning he's working on his body. So he's show, back human too. on my and we we I'm in the tub trying yeah. to figure out how I'm about to <laughs> continue. <laughs> hey, 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 so was day. you on that team uh, when he? When he took off, uh, that that so I was on the practice squad and I got took off the practice squad because we had a situation with the with the with the returner situation. So I got taken off the, mm. and that's why I went back to Jacksonville in 2021. Because okay. mm. uh, the new rule is like they put me on a practice squad to for to elevate a draft pick that they had, yeah. and then uh, Urban Meyer called Agnew went down, so I left. But that next week. That's what that happened. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So you bring up Urban Meyer. So you was there when that whole shit was going. Yeah, I was. <laughs> How was that in the locker room? Honestly, bro, I, I I tend to block out all the bullshit and I focus on me and my teammates and who I, you know what I'm saying, who I mess with. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to the team stuff, I don't I'm not the number one receiver. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm not the quarterback. So I'm not about to just truly just voice on what I know what I feel, but at the same time I had a job to do. Mm -hmm. But seeing it, I understood what Urban Meyer what who what type of coach he was. I came from LA. Yeah. I came mm -hmm. from Dorsey High School. I came with you might be called a B B muff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might be called certain names. It's hard type of hard coaching. But in the NFL, you know, you can't really do that. You got the limelight, you got everything. Yeah. So he was on his college coaching, well, just like how that Florida team was dogs. Mm -hmm. He's coaching dogs. Mm -hmm. So when I get over there, he like, I fucking like you. And I'd say right back, I fucking like you too. Yeah, yeah. He like, <laughs> like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, I understand him. The other guys didn't really understand him. You know what I mean, but he, he I mean, he, he he's a coach. Mm -hmm. Coaches are assholes, bro. If shit not going right, they're gonna be tripping. You know what I mean? When you see him in the the the, the locker room, mm -hmm. they'd be cool. They'd be whatever. So it's just how, how how he did some things and things that I don't know about and can't speak on. But for me, I mean, it was an enjoyable time because I had fun. I was returning shit. I got my check, mm -hmm. and I was mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. <laughs> I was gone. Yeah. <laughs> the dynamic would have been like with that. Cause I personally I don't like when niggas call me out my name shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I understand That's like the kids though. Yeah. Kids. yeah, but and then I understand like okay he doing that shit. But if I hear my coaches out and then he out with the hoes, I'm like oh shit he one of us. Yeah, definitely Maybe. right. <laughs> either, 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 way, either way, either way, I wouldn't still look said, at it yeah. like that because he's he's at a, a stature where if we acted upon that way, we we it will be in. Yeah, we probably so, get cut. So, so it's I'm, like, man, I don't yeah. care what you're doing. I'm gonna still stick to the code because I understand mm -hmm. where I'm at. But I understand that this is a temp job, straight up. Mm -hmm. So it's going straight to end up. at a certain time, not only throughout the year and six months of a year, but it's going to end a certain time with with with, with me as a human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to make sure I learn and obtain all the knowledge that you and get what I get out of it and have a great time doing it and being that one percentile and shit just had kicking ass having fun and gotcha. and building generational wealth and that's how I look at it because that's the fastest bro I sit here and stand before you with investments and things that I got going on because of I just stood 10 toes down I know a lot of dudes that no fought against yeah. it yeah. Yeah. And, and 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 wanted to know I'm the guy nah bro just do your thing do your I, when yeah. the whistle blow thing. go play football yeah. I don't care about how y'all talking how y'all because guess what it's gonna be another person another if everybody in the NFL right now said look I'm I'm we done boy the XFL dude's gonna be like yes sir ski yeah, they gonna have a whole locker room filled back up. The replacement. It might the not be the week. NFL you used to seeing with the best this that, but it's gonna and then they'll start to be yeah. because yeah. they'll be getting that training, that consistency, yeah. mm -hmm. making that money, getting those trainers. They are gonna turn different, and then they'll be good because you can put anybody just out there all eighteen We You had never heard of this dude, but he got a thousand yards mm -hmm. because he's going to get better. Mm -hmm. That's how he hate me became Rod Smart. Mm -hmm. That everybody know that name is he yeah. hate me. Then yeah. we knew him as Rod Smart, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he made a career out of it. He made, right. a, made a career yeah, out of it. Career hey out man, of. so y'all knew or you knew uh, uh, homeboy? Uh, what's his name? Receiver. We just talked about Antonio him. Brown. Antonio Brown. Yeah, yeah. What's up with this shit he's doing now? What's that rapper? No, yeah, but all the extra shit he tweeting so, and all that. What's I, going I don't on? know him personally, but I know some cats who trained with him before he came to the league, and those cats say. That's not the same dude they trained with. I don't know nothing about him from back then when he left college. I don't know nothing about him now. But all I know, people who do know him said whoever he, whatever he's putting out there today is not the guy they knew back in 2010. 
Right. Coming up and I think back. the general public is seeing uh, like, man, this something's off. Like, cause he ain't used to do shit like he just played football. Honestly, I, I, I it's, it, everybody can say it's something off, but at the same time, it's like everybody gonna do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, just because I'm sophisticated and I'm a business oriented, you know what I'm saying? Damn, what's up with Jadon? He got bougie. He got up. But at the same time, have you ever made a hundred million dollars? Straight up. That's crazy. Do you got do you, do you got two color lenses in your garage? And no disrespect. I'm just I'm, no, I'm, no, we know you yeah, 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 yeah. You got do you to, to, the, to whoever? Do you got, you know what I'm saying, a Huracan? Do your your kids no. got million dollar trust funds no. each way? Do you got uh, uh fifty million dollars in real estate and stay in a castle? And then as an NFL player, you got people badgering you, pushing you, doing this, doing that. And boy, we can't say nothing. Because yeah. if we do, we the bad guy. So now, since he's not playing football and football doesn't pay him, I can say whatever I want. Yeah. I mean, that's if true. he want to say it, that's, that's him. True. Just like he rapping. I rap too. I have a good time. But you can do it. And you can focus on it a little mm. more. Are you good? It. I, I, I'm all right. I ain't gonna put you up. You, said, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, I can talk. I, I, I can talk. I, I done lived a little bit, so it depends on what you like, your genre of music. But nah, but nah, AB, one of the greatest dudes, bro, i ever been around. That's Most genuine. Okay. He humble. He can be even more cocky than he is because, like, I, I said he the greatest receiver before I even met the dude. Cause I just nah, you standing like, on that too. I can, I no, can break it. In. I can break. I ain't never seen nobody return punts, return kicks, and I'm not talking about oh, just one or two. He returned five of these and six of these. Then he had uh, six years with over 1,500, 1,600 yards, Shit, and wow. then he had a, a, a season where he came in the Super Bowl run and had seven, seven, eight hundred yards, seven hundred yards in in less than six games. Yeah, what that doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, he do not. You, you're not you ain't slowing down. He Straight could play down. right now and go crazy. He probably could. I just, he probably could. Yeah, he probably, he probably the could. Ball, the ball went off his hand one time. It was a high throw back in the end zone. We were just doing routes on air. Man, the ball went off his head. Everybody said, oh. He said, no. He, Bro, I ain't, he said, I ain't run that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ran that thing. He went up and snagged it. I said, Same Bro, play? It's per perfection. He strive for perfection. Mm. And if you don't get perfection, you're going to be somewhere close to. You got to stack the raindrops in order to make floods. Like, now yeah. I heard Julio Jones was some was the best receiver people have saw in real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. No, and He's I and I, 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 de I de so look now if I did say you know I may mean, be the best of all time, this that that's because I'm just talking about world round. Like, I can't put Julio back there. I mean, I probably could and return a punt. Yeah, you know what I mean, and put your best guy wherever you want to at any time and go crazy. So but, look, I had to see Julio. He came. We we practiced against the Falcons one camp. Yeah, no, and, and those camp practices be crazy. Yeah. crazy. Because that's where they right, really be beefing. Especially joint. The joint. Yeah, that's where yeah. I kind of yeah. first saw him. And I knew he was real. And we had, I'm going to say names, but like veterans who like might get a stop against him and be like, you see, I got him. And this year two for Julio. Damn. Mm. It was so they was like excited. proud to get him. <laughs> yeah. only, it's on his second year in, you know what I mean? And yeah. I played against him in Atlanta. He did his thing too. How'd you like so, uh, De uh, DeAndre Hopkins? Was he here? Did you play? Hop, no, Hop, Hop is younger than me. Oh, okay. I know but he, talking. but, but so my thing with, with Hop, yeah, baller. I got a personal. I need my receivers to be extremely athletic. Mm. Hop to me is not that athletic. Really? He can really catch, mm. but he's not gonna outrun you. He's just that's not who he is. But you talk about Julio. What about Beckham? Oh man! Well, you could tell he yeah, was, yeah, he on, was, he was on the road to being the greatest too. That's I think. The, that's if the he guy. wouldn't have got hurt, yeah, 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 he, wouldn't have, he was on the road to be one of the best you ever seen too. Look, people get caught up in the catch and whatnot, but. Okay. No, he can play. Slant route yeah. to the crib. Yes. Well, that that was his bread and butter. You know yeah. what I mean? And he tough. Like people Man, just, yeah. they just tough think he nails. Yeah, they think he's all don't get, pretty don't boy let, shit. Don't let that that yeah, nah, that nigga tough. He, he always that. thought he was Confidence, tough. Confidence, swaggy. Yeah. Look, I know we're talking about other players, but I want to ask y'all, y'all first time stepping on the NFL field. Give me that feeling, that moment. Like what what did it feel like? Did you feel like I made it or damn. This I got to do real, my job. Real. This is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. This is okay. how, how I was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not cocky, not saying like that. I've been through hell to get here, but this is how it's supposed to be. This is why when I was creating players on Madden and making myself, <laughs> and making myself 99, seven foot like, receiver. bro, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, seven foot also. Yeah, I'm saying, even playing the uh, NCAA Road to Glory and been going, mm -hmm. playing through the yeah. four high school games, going yeah. through the college games, yep. and transferring Damn, your flavor over to NFL, bro, it was already written, and I mm -hmm. knew it. I was just waiting on the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was just me, but and it was appreciated. Like, yeah. I prayed, I got on my knees, 
days before I walked across that that wow. that, that, that white lines. Yeah. I said, and then I kept looking at the NFL. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm like, and then, and then yeah. everything was NFL. I was like, yeah. It was on my pants. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And then I'm yeah. kind of looking at it in the stands to so see if I can see these things. Were y'all away or home? I'm like, this is amazing. Were you man. away or home? <laughs> oh, we was away. We was playing uh, the Arizona Cardinals. I was with the Oakland Raiders, bro. Mm -hmm. So I was playing in that state. Then I'm looking at Larry Fitz warm up. Ooh. So yeah. so now I'm kind of like. Like I, I, cause I wasn't playing anyway until the fourth quarter. We the, we the, Same. yeah, yeah. Cause I was, like, I, I, was, I, was, I was, I drafted, so I was doing my, I was doing my whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carson Palmer, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah, bro. that was yeah. a cold team too, though. And yeah. I was watching yeah. Carson Palmer yeah. as a kid when I was in LA, like yeah. so, like, yeah. like, like, like eight, mm -hmm. six years old. So yeah. I'm like. This is wow. He's, yeah, oh, he's that tall. Fire. He's that's dead at the hill, bro. So it was long, man. For me, I don't necessarily think I had the expectations of going to the NFL. It happened for me, and I'm, I was grateful for it. So. I used to try to like soak it in. So there's a routine I started from my first game. We actually went to New England. Mm. And they, they might have beat us like 41 to 7. It was something crazy. We <laughs> lost a lot of you games. You saw Tom man. Brady for the first you time. Know what oh, shit. <laughs> but you go out to the field, and you know, uh, is it Gillette? Gillette. Yeah, yeah Gillette. So I go to Gillette, and I'm looking up like, it's, it's Gillette. So I used to like make a lap around the, the field to kind of soak it in because I'm thinking, I'm undrafted. Yeah. Tomorrow will be my last day. Yeah. So I did that every game moving forward. Mm. Especially like away games. Mm. Yeah. I walk around that field. I got to go to Lambo. I walk around the field. Mm. I want to say I smell that in Lambo air. Or you know, what I, mean? I want to. I want to to take it all in. So I just kept doing that because I knew it was. Who knows? It might yeah. be two years, three years, four mm. years. It might be done. Bro, so, that's live as fuck. How many bro. picks you had in your career? One. Against who? NFL. And I was against the Bucks. Oh. Before they had, before they were who they are. Oh, okay. I think it was like a backup quarterback. I got the video of it. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, the video yeah. of his pick too that, yeah, you, yeah. that you got. Yeah, man, it's, man, it's, if you ain't if you if you getting that, it's hard to get picks, hard to get touchdowns. I haven't scored yeah, a touchdown since 2017. So, so I've been, been in the league. league. It's hard, That's dog. So, I, I just finished the off season. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, so six <laughs> years since your touchdown, one pick, and then so we see guys that they laud for all of their stats. It's really hard to score the league. Because if he lauding for all yeah. of his stats, who else is going to get the ball? Straight up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight up. And you got yeah. a guy like that on every team. So yeah. it's not mm -hmm. even a guy like that. Then you pay the tight end like six M's. Then you pay. So it's like, then, <laughs> then all right, man, come get his jet sweep. <laughs> and try to take it away. Yeah, go, go, go. You got to crib it. So the yeah. contract. You ain't get another touch <laughs> of offense in six weeks. Obviously, it's business. <laughs> It's business yeah. involved and who mm -hmm. gets the ball and that shit yeah. was kind of wack. So I remember. Damn. Cause uh, he he retired now, but when he my boy played for the Bucks and mm -hmm. he was he had a span where he was getting a hundred yards rushing like back to back to back. How many touches? Shit, but this was had to be under twenty. Nah, he was getting like twenty touches. Ooh, what a blessing! Yeah, yeah. he, he, he was ball, running yeah. back, so he mm -hmm. was boom boom boom. They sat him because they was paying. Uh, what was the uh, Doug Martin? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had him, mm -hmm. uh, but and he was hurt, and so. He was on his contract, yeah, and he was. They was balling out. Yeah, I see. I remember him texting like, "Bro, this business shit is real." They sat him because they had to pay Doug Martin. His contract was coming up. They wanted him to sign a specific deal. He wouldn't, so they sat him Damn. until they got that shit situated, and they ended up losing. Yeah, and they yeah. was on the on the path to like trying to make a playoff run. I was like, "Yo, that's crazy." It's like that, dog. My second year. Uh, Aaron Ross came down for like a year. He just left New York. Mm. We had Rasheen Mathis, and I was like mm. a backup cornerback. They both end up getting hurt in the season at, at various times. Mm -hmm. So I end up starting for a few games and play well. They get healthy, and they're not putting them back in the game. Mm. In my opinion, it wasn't because I was just killing, but I just assumed it was something to do with money. Yeah, they had to have enough plays to hit whatever yeah. you know. Because they missed And yeah. these cats, who I felt like were probably better than me. They mm. weren't playing them. Mm. Wow. So it's it's like that too. Yeah. What's yeah. the movie called with Jamie Foxx? Uh, any given Sunday. 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 When, when uh, LL Cool J was trying to get his yards. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Lawrence Taylor was trying to get that. Uh, He's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he almost died. Yeah, yeah. He almost died. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, man. other than winning the ball. Oh though. man, I had to earn yeah. my chicken now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, man, you man, you get 60, 60 catches in the punt. Yeah. You get two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, Ooh. let's talk about this. Well, that's well, crazy. Well, y'all can shine oh, like, What's that? up with the 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 agent uh, pool and how that work with the agent? With, is it individual agents? Every player got they or they uh, y'all a part of a. So you have work? well, I mean, as far as signing with an agent, yeah. some people do go with the independent guys. I felt more comfortable going with the with the group. Right. You know what I mean? Um, only because in my position, I feel like if I have a group of people working on my behalf, mm-hmm. I got a better shot of getting the work out down the line or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But I know cats who went with the individuals are looking like Lamar. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, I would never do that. I, I mean, don't uh, trust Lamar was going for... Two sixty oh though, you know. So oh you know, different, different tax bracket. Yeah, right. yeah, he right. knew. But yeah, I'm, going, even, I'm going. But that's crazy that he. But that's did based that. on your uh, you got, yeah. your draft <laughs> stock. You got, or, you got to be that guy. Yeah, you got to be that guy. Here's the thing. I read something today. It said, I think it's like fourth round on. You were better off doing your own contract. Mm. Oh, it's okay. the same thing. Okay. Didn't Richard now, Sherman like, represent himself one time? He may have, but like the first round guys and that, that's where it gets particular. But after that, it's standard. Now, if you're talking about signing your second deal, then get a, get somebody. But if you come out the draft and you fourth, fifth, sixth, you're really the agent. Mm-hmm. If they gonna give you what they're going to give you, you're not going to negotiate for more money. Right. They're giving you what they're giving you. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's why I chose I could go with a group. Man, just sitting here listening to y'all stories, bro, it's amazing. Like, for real, for real. You winning the Super Bowl. Even though you ain't had no winning seasons, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still, Super Bowl's crazy. Nah, that's wild, though. It's, that's yo, Super Bowl's it's crazy, still yeah. amazing. You mm-hmm. made it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just making it to that level. Appreciate uh, it. I mean, it's a million and a bro, million all, plus we, people trying to ball. get you know what? You know what this like, is going to do for people, man? They're going to watch y'all, listen to y'all talk, watch y'all, and be like, damn, I really do got a shot. Like, yeah, you got hard. a Super Bowl mm-hmm. champion. How many years you played in the, the I league? I played four and then I went to Canada for you, so five. Right. Years. And then, yeah. it, but they like, damn, he, you know, he was cold. Like, he still played. He still started. He still was in Lambo. Like, mm-hmm. they going to they gonna, they gonna look at this shit and they going to be like, damn, I got a shot. People right. do have a shot because they don't. They, we, they hear for them niggas that got it, like y'all just talking. But I don't about. think yeah. people understand, and I've heard you say this before, and I've heard other people say, I don't think people understand how hard you have to work mm-hmm. to stay in the NFL. The like that. There's a different <laughs> level, like because y'all, you know, Washington, Missouri. Mm-hmm. How, how I know how difficult it is in college. Yeah, like the level of work. What's the next level when you get to the pros? Like. A, like what's so, that work ethic have to be at? For all the cats who play in college ball, and this is the this is what hit me like a, like a ton of bricks in the NFL. In college, you got school, you know, then you have practice, and then you might have like a mandatory study hall, the things like mm-hmm. that you have to do. In the NFL, you get there five thirty six, you leave five thirty six. There's no school, you know what I mean? It's nothing. It's no extra. It's just football for 11, 12 hours a day. Yeah. That was the biggest change. It's like, yo, hold on, I got, I got to do football for eleven hours. How do you even fit that in a day? Yeah, mm. but they find a way to Man, fit in eleven it's, hours it's of football story. every day. Every day, it's a story. Um, I forgot where NFL player told it, but they was in the same building as Chris Paul. Like Chris Paul had like a during training camp, he used mm-hmm. to stay in his building, whatever. So they would cross paths, whatever, and they'll both be on off season or whatever. He's like, "Oh shit, where you going? Oh, I'm about to shit." Chris Paul would be like, "I'm about to go play the game. Like, I'm mm-hmm. y'all ain't got practice." Yeah, it was about an hour, but yeah, we good for the day. And this nigga was like, man, I got oh, yeah, go to yeah, yeah, I heard that story. I got It's eight hours, yeah. like, you know, just for your whole day for football. What's and the longer days? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Done in 30 day? minutes. Uh, uh, it's probably depending on the team. Wednesday, yeah, yeah. Thursdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Or oh, the longer days. Yeah, mm-hmm. Wednesdays yeah, and Thursdays. Like you're there for forever, dog. Like, Even in, on the short days, you yeah. get there six and don't leave. But honestly, honestly, if you're a true pro, Every day is a long day. That's true. Yeah, it's not you like if you going nobody home, just leaves. Man, yeah, nah, bro. You got I'm about to be. And then if you got a real team, the Super Bowl team we had, man. If you got a real team, bro, we ended the day at three o'clock, bro. But we got a basketball court in there. We got uh, what's that thing? Cornhole in there. We yeah. got ping, ping pong. pong. Yeah. We vibing together. We talking about businesses. We talking about our families. We getting treatment. And if you're not, even if you're not hurt, if you're not getting that extra treatment and keeping mm-hmm. yourself prepared for the next day or even the next week, you probably not gonna last long anyway. I don't That's care true. how good. You you are That's so true. the days i didn't even count the days every day was long because yeah. i'm gonna study extra anyway even yeah. if i know everything because i want to take that opportunity to get better so when i'm done playing i ain't got a wonder like dang what if or man i wish i would have took it a little more serious or man i wish mm-hmm. i would have toughened that out a little more so it's just like i never saw a up. team full of guys like that i've seen a couple of real mm-hmm. pros like it yeah. the term he using is real like you've seen some of the 
the vets, real pros, they get there in the morning, they stay late. Yeah. Like this is what they do yeah. all the time. But the rest of that team, but who, how you not? How you not, bro? Brady ain't about to, what? Yeah, that's see, that's you the difference. You, you see, yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, that's you, the see, difference. you see me in there, you see yeah. him in there, and you go home, you going to be out of here. Mm. That's, that's a difference. true. That's a that's great a point. Difference. It, it depends on who you, so it matters who your vets are then. Oh, yeah. It Big matters time. who your vets are. Yeah. Big Most time. We're going to get you out of man. Big boy, if this corner was getting took up off top, Brady score, this corner get took up. Brady score, this corner get took up. He going to say, Hey man, he, 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 it's like it's yeah. like you're messing with me right yeah. now. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? No yeah. way. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We doing all we can do, especially I'm throwing this thing. Yeah. And he giving up them points. And if that's our weak link, we need to address that right you now. Saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're but other teams, it. quarterbacks just be like that's just like on the team, just like, you just gotta keep focused on what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, like, yeah. nah, we're gonna have to fix all this. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to, yeah, every which way. Yeah, yeah. So now we we're gonna wrap it here in a second, but I did want to get y'all opinion just on like what? What, what was y'all post career going to look like? I know you still playing. Mm -hmm. I know you in post career. Yeah. Like, did you prepare for that? Like, what what were you thinking as you go? Because I know that's always a transition for guys when they yeah, when it's they a leave. transition, man. And I would say, like looking back on it, you don't even realize what you're going through when you're transitioning. Okay. At the time, you just All right, I don't play no more. We find something else to do. I went into coaching for a little bit, things like mm -hmm. that. But you don't realize what you like what you're going through. I, I could say, nah, I wouldn't use the word depressed but I would say it was it's it's a change mm -hmm. I couldn't even really watch the game when I first stopped playing mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. one of my dogs invited me to a game matter of fact here in Houston I went to watch uh, the Chiefs play and you know if it's one of your partners playing you come on the field or whatever for the mm -hmm. game and I just left Kansas City mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm, I'm seeing Al Harris who's our cornerback coach he comes shaking my hand I'm like oh, what's good I'm, yeah. I'm like y'all don't like this dog. I can't yeah, yeah. I can't be this close to the game and not yeah. playing it yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, watching yeah. it was 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 crazy weird <clears throat> and then finding your second act it, 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 it's, it's real. It took it's me real. a little while. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm in a much better place now than I was when I first left. Mm. But when you first leave, dog, if you don't have something set up, like I hear what you talking about, things you have going on, and my hat's off to you because I was a guy who didn't. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm, 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 my head, I'm playing ball. We're yeah. both there, though. We're both there. I had to figure it out. And I had to mm -hmm. take it to the next level, and then I'm taking it to a level of <laughs> above that. Yeah. So, And I'm going to take my glass off when I say this because I know we're going to have some people like that that's, that's actually – in the NFL, mm -hmm. don't know what to do, and I get questions and calls all the and time. And they gonna watch this. So, yeah. and, and I want them to watch this. So listen to what I'm telling you. Every day you walk in that locker room, you are not walking into a locker room of high school or middle school or nothing like that. Your locker room and the guys next to you, it's a Fortune 500 locker room. That's true. Just like you're making that 800000 to a $1 million, the dude next to you making $22 million, the dude next to you making $10 million, the dude next to him making $10 million, it's a billion dollars in that locker room. These are your friends. So when the dude comes to post-career, when I call on my friends and we have businesses mm -hmm. that can probably joint and and create together, it's not a business that we're going to create a mom and pop. It's going to ha have to be only on a six-figure level so you can actually build generational wealth. Mm, so right with your friends around you and the things that you guys can collaborate with on the things that you already built because your NFL player is in that limelight mm -hmm. and everybody looking at you like you're supposed to have it anyway, mm -hmm. how about you guys get together, join together, and build something monumental that can be <clears throat> beneficial to what you're doing after football and so you can have fun doing it instead of, man, everything I do for work and making six figures and doing mm -hmm. this and doing that, it has to be a grind. Mm -hmm. Every day I wake up, I smile. Mm -hmm. I call my mom. I make my bed because I know that my life together if i feel like your bed ain't made up in the morning you're like yeah. mm -hmm. nah, you're right. you know what I'm so you right yeah i mean so so yeah. my, my bed, bed is made it's every day yeah. so you yeah. 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 Because you just think about your mama, your grandma, like, they know better. Like, yeah. Got his whole set up. But, yeah. Like, man, make this shit up, man. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all that's I want to point on, bro. But yeah. Yeah. And it's big because people don't understand. Like, I still FaceTime Antonio Brown. I still FaceTime Jason Pierre-Paul. Yeah. I still yeah. have my conversations with Gronkowski. Still have this, still have that. So when people wonder, like, man, how do you get into these bits? Man, my friend, he, yeah, he owns this friend. company. Yeah. He owns that company. He yeah. knows the guy that owns this company. And now... The things that I want to do are not only things that I want to do, it's things that become businesses because I love to do them. Yeah. And that's what's going to make it successful. Shit. Yeah. No time Brady. And that's like the ultimate. Yeah. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if he forget about me and never I forget about time me. Boy, yeah, bro, you did run so <laughs> back yeah. on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, he a good guy. So, so. Yeah. so, so tell the people where to find you, all that good stuff. Obviously, we're going to make some clips and post y'all yeah. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. do some some collaboration Man, with did you. They but they sent out a mass email. Hold on. Did I just <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. 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 It's me, Sean Weatherspoon, which you know, uh, Jeremy Macklin, man. We're just talking about our journey from meeting each other as 18-year-olds and kind of growing that bond and friendship all the way through NFL and even post-career. So please check it out, True Sons, coming out wow, hopefully in February. Right. That's what's up, Jay. Huh? Where, where can people find you and all that good stuff? Uh, yeah, um, you can follow me on Instagram at jmickey, J-M-I-C-K-Y underscore one nine. Uh, things I got going right now that didn't be, you know, if you're in Houston, Texas, we got the car service going. So we got Cadillac Escalades. We got Sprinters. Um, I'm opening a members only lounge. It's called the High Society Compound. High Society Compound HTX. That's what's up. It's the Instagram. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be a network networking um, membership, but something that we're going to have a basketball court. We're going to have clubs. We're going to have lounges. We're going to have paint and sips. Mm -hmm. We're going to have anything to do with networking and you're going to be a member. You'll pay a Netflix type of subscription for it a month, mm -hmm. for the year, but you're going to be a member. So any private events, private parties, we have actually Friday to Artist Friday mm -hmm. opening up. So That's open at night. And then I'll have that information for everybody as it goes along. But they're building it right now. And it's off of 288 and Yellowstone. Yeah, uh, right by the end. Let us know, man. We, yeah, we'll yeah, plug yeah, that yeah, for yeah, you yeah. too, brother. So, so we ducked off. But when you become a member, you'll get the actually exclusive on what's going on because the guys that sit next to you are the guys that's in this podcast and the ladies that's around it. So that's the people that, mm -hmm. that's next, you might need them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, no, or, you, know. you might want to know yeah. them. You know Already. So it'll be good for you. So it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome time. All right. And Kev, your handle, because you didn't give your handle. If you want people Man, to follow. Man, I think it's K underscore rep 22. Yeah, I think it's. Because yeah, he ain't on Instagram. He don't do like the yeah, socials. Yeah, he don't do it yeah, like that. That's the tech. Yeah. This is Southern boy. They ain't got <laughs> time for all the socials. Get in my face. I think it's K underscore rep 22. Okay. That okay. Might be it. Good All right. True yeah. Sons. High, what you call it again? High Society. High Society. High Society. Nah. So y'all definitely lock in with that. Man, we appreciate y'all giving Man, I'm inspired, nah. man. We really appreciate do. KC, we're going to let you. We're going to let you. This got me live for this. We're going to let you make yeah, yeah, your prediction yeah, yeah, yeah. for the we're game right now nice, before man. we leave. Go ahead. Oh, we just going to win. I don't do nothing. You don't care about scoring? No, nothing. Like he said. They play Tampa. Like he said. Tampa. Oh, yeah. Tampa. 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 All right, what I'm you got? What you got? I'm going Detroit. This on wax. For sure. Who you got? I'm going to go Detroit because I just feel the... The attention for bro, you. My the bro is on one. Uh, let me get the hell out of here. Before we head out, though, I, I do, I do want to shout out my guy for influencing LP. What? You know, because last last Come week, on, talk to him, KC. Week we gave him oh, Pistachio B. <laughs> my man came in. Actually, oh, green. Green. Actually this, is, this, is green. this is inspired by Shannon Sharp. You, I told y'all I was going to be wearing exactly what Shannon Sharp wore the rest of the year. By, and not uh, only with, that, the shades yes, behind you. I'm wearing yeah. exactly what he wore the rest of the year. And Every color he got, I'm wearing. You got one, two, three, four. Yeah. four Looking like a bag of money. You can't have no money if you ain't got no money on. And then, <laughs> and also, because we ain't, we ain't really talk about it, but my man came in just like in, in cold flavor, which you know no good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. You gonna have to just go around the room. So <laughs> <laughs> first off, I'm gonna ask you: uh, Does the essentials, the knit joints, are they run bigger? Cause I'm, I was oh, in I'm not big. Everything yeah, big. I'm, I, I'm, I, nah, bro. I got, I got, I got some. <laughs> I got some that I'm looking at, but I don't know because essential be they be crazy. too big. Bro. Nah, yeah. everything yeah. oversized. Yeah. Size yeah. What, what's yeah. funny was this is a this is a medium and it's too so, big. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. I need to order a small then. That's what I need. But it makes sense if it's cold like what you mean. I'm trying. I need a small. No, bro. No, I like my clothes to fit tight. You need a two XL. That one. <laughs> bro, you look, it still look like you can play. I, I, just yeah, wanted, I like my clothes fitted, bro. That's what I like. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, look, look, yeah, yeah, look, it looks small doing, doing it. Do that, man. Why can't I wear my clothes fitted? Y'all wrong, man. Like, yeah, man. That ain't gonna get out there and shuffle. It hurt my knees. Go through a hole. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not gonna get smacked though. I would not Jeez, get smacked. I'm just supposed to look like boys though. All right, yeah. so, boy. Um, before we wrap though, again, we appreciate y'all nah, coming real, on. Y'all definitely just have to get some time y'all did. I'm rooting for Detroit though. I am. I want y'all to get done. Against the other team, because last just do it like last week. Okay, I'm going in for just do it like just. So you you Tampa now? I'm Tampa now. We don't want you, Baker Mayfield. Baker, Baker. We if Eminem is at the game, y'all winning. He gonna be at the game. It's just cap. If Eminem is at the game, <laughs> he, he two and zero. Oh. That's cap. He two and zero. Oh. And he had Eddie. He, he, he was at Terrence Crawford. You about to make this boy Tran, lose Tran's himself in the music game? Terrence Crawford. When you on there, <laughs> <when you're laughs> <older, laughs> you better let it go. <laughs> Y'all got one shot, but this about to be a chance. I'm about to blow up. Uh, it's going to implode. Uh, we about to roll. Oh, oh, yeah, my shit, up, baby. I ain't even scared of no lions. Who damn lions? So this is an ex extended version of episode 281. Uh, we got some 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 special guys in the building. They have a new app called Link Point. Uh, I'm going to let them describe it, but I know one of the uh, owners. I've known him for quite some time, probably since he was in elementary school. Uh, he's a friend of, uh, I mean, he's not a friend. I'm sorry. He's the nephew of one of my best friends. And uh, I've seen him grow. And uh, he told me about this uh, this app probably about a year ago. And I looked into it with him. He showed me everything. I've been a part of the whole process. He's been keeping me up to date with it. And here we are now. We're here to discuss it. So without any further ado, Devo, go ahead. Take the rounds. So I'm Devin Williams. I'm the CEO of the app out now on iOS called Link Point. Um, like Phil said, showed him about the app, told him about the app. And, uh, you know, it's a privilege to have that relationship with him to invite me on the show, be able to talk about it. And I was able to bring my partner in with me, worked on the app with me very closely in and out. So happy to be here and explain a little bit to y'all. Yeah, and I'm Philo. Uh, I know we got Phil and we got Phil, <laughs> but I'm gonna go Philo this time um, for sure. And, you know, just making this beautiful app and we're gonna talk about all the features and what it can do for y'all people and how, you know, just how convenient it is and such like that. But no, that, no, I mean, first we got to talk about the drip mm -hmm. because they came it's in hard. here drip down. I, I, look, I don't know what um, apps pay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all came in here drip. explain the drip, brother. I mean, nah, what's going I on? Mean, nah, we 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 put. I mean, we watched a couple of episodes. Y'all be oh, here. Oh, so you knew, you yeah. knew. Yeah, yeah, y'all be here going crazy. So I'm like, you know, if y'all gonna do that, we not gonna. You know, so like, we and all it, know what y'all. And that's fun too. I feel like a lot of pods don't really like do that, so yeah. it's, it's fun, you know. Nah, express yourself a different type of way. No, nah, nah, we appreciate so, that. Because so, when I saw him walk in, I was like, who is that first off? Because I didn't know. Yeah. You know, I had only seen my brother here yeah. on the video. Uh -huh. Then I saw his drink. He got the all. <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, I'm like, I feel bad now. You know, I came athleisure. I should have wore my best designer. You know what it would have been, though? Lululemon. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought. Nah, so. nah, like I said, we, we watch y'all episodes, man. Yeah. Don be here of course, with the yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I mean, today, today he heads. came like he was Long John Silver. So, you know, we, we going to let him make it, though. We going to yeah, let him make it. No, nah, no. Nah. Man, let's let's talk about the app, man, because I can't lie. I've been telling people I was going to have mm -hmm. you guys on. And um, they, well, what's, what does this app do? And I'm trying to explain it to him. I'm like, you know what? Just just wait. Just wait. So, man, tell us, what, what exactly does the app do? And what is it for? So... The app is for beating people at what we call a link point uh, for whatever convenient reason. And what that means is pretty much you can find a place between you and another friend or another user to meet at, whether it's bars, restaurants, uh, anything. You can use it for anything. I've used it personally for working out. I've used it for meeting people at restaurants. I've used it for business meetings. I've used it for everything. And the idea came from pretty much, you know, living in a big city like Houston, I'm bad with directions. I'm bad with GPS. You know, somebody like, man, meet me on this exit off 59. And I'm like, man, look, I'm a GPS baby. Yeah, that doesn't mean nothing to me. Yeah, I, that don't mean nothing to me. So it's so like. y'all never had to read the map like we had. Nah. nah, nah I was always man, watching, I was man. always seeing my pops read it though. And I'm just like, Damn, I'm crazy. as old as your pops probably. That's yeah, crazy. Because yeah, I definitely yeah. grew up on maps. So we came up in, in GPS. So it's like, you know, uh, I would always wonder like, you know, what if like just in my head, yo, what if it was something that, you know, it was an app that told me exactly what's in between us that we could GPS ourselves to. So one day, you know, we came up with the idea. We were like, you know, let's let's do it. Like we kept having that problem over and over. I called my boy. He started pitching ideas to me back and forth. We were like, man, we we gotta we gotta go for it now. So that's uh, pretty much what the app is for: making meeting easy, making meeting convenient, uh, and it's a new safe way to meet. It's a something that's never been done. So we're trying to grow that, 
uh, promote that and just show people that, you know, what we've been able to do. Okay. And uh, like piggybacking what off you said, basically, I, I mean, I always like examples too, but it's like, imagine after this podcast, me and you kick it off, like, uh, we're homies now, whatever. And it's like, all right, let's try to find a bar between us. I don't know where you stay. You don't know where I stay. I send you a link request. We select, let's find bars. And at that moment, it instantly finds all the bars that's between us. So it makes it very convenient for both of us. Mm. With that being said, once we select we, we get thrown into an active lobby and it's got options. Once me and you pick which bar we want to go to out of those options, then we select one and it gives us live navigation, in-app navigation. So it doesn't kick you out to like another Google Maps or something. We provide that resource as well. And then on top of that, to make things even more convenient, like let's say it's 15 minutes out your way, 12 minutes out mine. We're not going to get there at the same time, right? So we got a live ETA of each person. So it's like if I get there first and you're like, oh, I'm 20 minutes on the way, but it says you're two minutes on the way or it says you're 30 minutes away, you know, it's, it's got that live live feedback. So we know exactly when you're going to. No, that's pretty because I'm definitely going to lie. Yeah, because I'll definitely say <laughs> that I'm on the way yeah. when I haven't left the house. Yeah, so if you got the BS partner like that, and they, <laughs> that's five me. minutes away, you yeah. on the app. And I'm like, man, you you 35 yeah. minutes away. Yeah. Like, you ain't left yet. So it's different. So this is where the questions that I had. So it's not like sharing your location then. This is a, an enhanced level of also having the differences in between where you are from each other also. Mm -hmm. So no, it doesn't share location. And we thought about that, but we wanted people to have privacy. Cause gotcha. what if you're meeting up for business reasons, you're mm -hmm. selling things, you know, people use Facebook marketplace. Straight up. Right. Uh, a lot of people come to me about, you know, co-parenting. Hey, I need to meet my baby daddy, my baby mama at a place. Mm -hmm. I don't want them knowing where I stay. Yeah, I don't want them knowing yeah, where, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. he stays. So they like to meet at locations to where you can't see exactly where they're, they're coming from, but you could see the mid, the link point between them. Yeah. Now that's actually a dope idea. So that's kind of like how Uber does, where you really don't know who you're picking up mm -hmm. or exactly who the person is until they get in. And you don't know the exact location all the time either until after the ride starts. Well, I, I would say it's slightly different because you have to add a friend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. You, you're going to know exactly who you're meeting up with. It's not random. It's not like a date nap. It's not anything like that. It's like, again, like let's say I'm selling something to a stranger. Hey, add me on this app. Uh, we can meet at a gas station between us. You stay on the south side, I stay on the north side. It'll just pull up that gas station. Now, I don't know exactly who you are, but I have your profile. Exactly. At least. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Bro, this is going to be fantastic for uh, all the sneaker sellers, sneaker resellers. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. They for sure going to use that. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Me, it's like camera reselling and stuff like this. Oh, okay. We do that all yeah. the time. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And the, the whole baby mama, baby daddy system. Right. Bro, that's... <laughs> Wait, that hit your heart? That, no, that, no, that, no. That. It didn't hit my heart. <laughs> no, we good. We good. We good. <laughs> But I know situations like that. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I find that weird because if you got court documents on somebody, you'll know what they say. Nah, sometimes people play games. That's true, huh? I would. With the grandma uh, address. On I don't it. want nobody knowing where I'm going if we're not together no more. That's true. I don't want you to know who I am. <laughs> I might change my name. I'm just being real. All right, so what's y'all background, man? What, yeah. what, Like, how'd y'all get involved in this? Because this is high-level tech. Yeah, like, yeah. we typically see that. Now, you in Austin, so that's yeah. a tech community. But this would typically be Silicon Valley. This would be San Francisco, the Bay Area. Like, how did y'all get involved in this? Um, so, I mean, we, we both, uh, short stories, we both went to the same college, and we both did engineering. We had different uh, disciplines. So mm -hmm. he did mechanical engineering. I did petroleum engineering. Um, but we pretty much met from just like studying and we kind of seen that we were all on the same kind of track as far as like mentality and stuff like that. And uh, he, he could go into more of like how the uh, idea initially came for him because it really came from his like personal examples first. Mm -hmm. And then like he was saying, he just like called me up, was like, what about this? What the, How does this idea sound and stuff like that? I'm like, man, that sounds good. Like we could really make that happen. And just from like the kind of different drive we have and like our, our background from school and what we learned and the mm -hmm. tools that we had, we were able to like, kind of make it come to life and stuff like that. Ah, that's true. Yeah, so like he said, uh, we both went to the same school uh, and pretty much this is probably one of the first dudes I ended up studying with. Okay. And uh, it sounds cliche, but you know, you got a lot of people who want to do the easy stuff. You know, we can go out party, we can go out do this, we can go out do that. But every time I asked Phil to, you know, do something that's hard but productive, he was always with it. So again, when I did have those personal examples come up, he was probably the first person I thought to call because that was our relationship through college. Like we always got stuff done. Uh, even if it was hard, we wanted to get better. We wanted to get productive. So when I called him and broke down the idea to him, I knew he would be on board. I knew I could get him on board. I knew we could progress together if we just, you know, it, it, it's 
it was like riding a bike again. It was like we had both graduated at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the pandemic kind of killed the petroleum uh, engineer. Yeah, I took an L. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so he, he yeah. kind of took an L, but it was more like, yo, I knew he had time on his hands. Like, man, let's let's get to it. And he jumped right on board, and we started getting to it. We started making it happen, and one day at a time, it became what you saw now. And this probably was four years ago. So, yeah. So over this period of time, there had to be like trial and error. Like oh, what, sure. what What were some of y'all challenges putting this together? What's some of the things that you've encountered as you were building the app? I would say initially just finding a, a core team, first okay. of all, because yeah. I mean, uh, that was that was an issue because you got to see who would work with you. Like, again, we know we can do it, but I mean, we can't do everything. We can do yeah. a lot, but we can't do everything. So you got to find who's going to be reliable in this area, who's going to be reliable in this area. Like mm-hmm. I used the example to him the other day, like. People asked our job description in a, uh, another podcast we went, and I'm like, man, we just get in where we fit in. Like, if we clean in the kitchen, yo, if I'm mopping the floor, he on the dishes. If he on the dishes, then I'm taking that. Like, that's just how yeah. we try to work with the app. Wow. So finding the team and weeding out who doesn't really want to work, who doesn't want to do the things that are hard but get productive, that was a challenge. And you have errors in the app and bugs in the app, and it's it's like when you're creating something new, you don't have anybody. You can't Google like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't no YouTube yeah, universe. There's no YouTube. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been times like we got developers on our team. We have two other developers. So it's been times where we, we're we stuck and we're like, we have a problem. We're like, like, yo, can we look this up? And it's like, nah, we can't look this up. This is our roadmap. So we got to figure out a way. Mm. And that just comes with everybody putting their heads together and, uh, again, trying to figure things, the hard things out, you know? What, what I want to say is that I've been on Devo about coming on the show, coming on the podcast. And you've right? mentioned it. You yeah, know? I've mentioned it yeah. several times, right? And what I loved about him was his professionalism. He oh, was like, we're sure. not ready yet. We're not ready yet, Phil. Give us give us some time. Give us some time. So when he reached out to me, I was like, oh, okay. Roden got it. He got, he got <laughs> it all the way figured out, right? And what I love about him also is that the humbleness. He sent me a... Uh, uh, one of the link point, one of the uh, the advertisements that you guys just made, yeah. and he was like, "Don't, don't, don't critique it just yet. You know, you ain't got to send me nothing back. Just look at it." He he ain't even want me to tell me what I thought about it, but uh, in my brain, I was like, "Man, he got something." Yeah. You know, just hearing the the origin of the story and you guys describing what this is, this is such a useful app that I think a lot a lot of people will yeah. use. Uh, you guys, you guys got something great. For so real. give us Appreciate your most that. practical use that you all have, because y'all are the main testers, I would imagine. Uh, What's yeah. the most practical use that y'all have done with it? So you mean like, do you mean like practical as in like what I personally yeah, use Yeah, what you would use like, it for or what you think someone might use Yeah, it? just for me personally, it's when I have a lot of like friends from all over. Um, I mean, I was also like born in Europe and stuff like that. So I got people that come and visit all the time. That's where the swag come is. from. Where, 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 where at? Where at My in Europe? My man got was, the pearls. I was born in uh Munich, Germany. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That's what it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah. Who who in the, who was in the NBA from Germany? Dirk. Uh, no. Schroeder, Schroeder, nah, Schroeder, Schroeder, man, he ain't got swag. Schroeder got that. <laughs> Schroeder do got nah, swag. Nah, nah, I don't like Schroeder, Schroeder bro. Be having nah, it, bro. I don't like Schroeder. <laughs> who, who else is from Germany in the league? Someone stats and information. Get us a Dirk, right? Uh, Dirk, uh, Dirk for sure. I do like him from Orlando. Oh, That's Orlando. who he remind me of. Oh yeah, he's nice. Bad. We, he nice. We, we put everybody in the NBA lane. Yeah, he remind me of Jordan Clarkson. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't even know what bro looks <laughs> like. So so we got you. All right, so go ahead, go ahead. My bad. Go. I hope you're not hoeing me. I'm gonna have to check. <laughs> no, 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 no. My he wife, not, he can not, go. Nah, nah, friends, can ball. He can ball. He can ball. I'm not. I'm not. Truly, but what I was saying is like you know, just I mean, even like Europe aside, but like college and stuff. You know, you got friends that come in from town. Oh, bro, you know, I'm staying up here. Da, da, da. you know instead of the whole like oh give me your address hey is this near you hey is this near you it's like bro get on link point and then boom we'll shoot a, we'll, we'll check like okay bars in between us we'll check uh i don't know bowling in between us whatever the vibe is even catch a lift with my bro that pulls in from out of town yeah and it's like i don't know what hotel he's at it's just real quick like boom this is what's in between us i send him a link request we show we pick a little spot we go get a lift in and it's simple like that we even have a we even have a video that we shot or that Devin shot with uh, one of my friends that lived in Houston, too. Yeah. They both didn't know where they stayed and they shot that video. Yeah, too. We, we, we got to get a lift in using the app. Uh, and that's pretty much what I use it for. And again, me being from the north side of Houston, I currently live on the south side. It's like, Wait, are you from the north side, though? Yeah, I'm from, I went to Westfield. I'm from yeah. Oh, come yes. on, man. I feel you. But he, 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 but he, he let us know. He, he all right, though. He's in come this on, dude. Man, <laughs> 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 We he's are a right. Southside. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. Nah, playing, he's good. Playing. He's super. 
I just went. Go yeah. ahead, but nah, so like pretty much all my friends live on that side of town. So yeah. meeting up with them to watch a game, it's like, man, they all over there. I'm like, man, yeah, come on, man, hop on the app and yeah. we'll meet, you know, somewhere, mm-hmm. watch a game, something like that. Uh, lifting, I work out a lot. So uh, me and Dame had a moment one time where mm-hmm. I'm on the phone with Dame and we arguing about what 24 is between us. And Dame had to tell me, he like, man, get on the app. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you right. Why am I even arguing with you? Then we, we found the 24 between us that way. And you know, yeah. Dame always mm-hmm. late. So, yeah. Yeah. He, he, oh, I, right. I caught him on the, on the live ETA update, talking, mm-hmm. capping, and all that. So, from inception to now, it's been four years. Uh, I would say from initial thought came in maybe 2018. I hit my brother and my okay. uncle Ben up. And I'm like, man, because I, again, I, it was an issue that I kept having. And, you know, it's like an idea that keeps popping up in your yep. head, keeps popping up in your head. So I text him in a group. I'm like, man, what would y'all think if it was an app that, you know, did all this? They were just like, they were asking questions. Like, they, they were like, it sounds good. But, you know, you never do nothing with that. Keep talking about whatever we're talking about. And, like, I don't know. One day something just told me to call my boy and go forward with it. So I would say maybe 2020 we started yeah. working on it. it okay. Was, mm. Okay. So 2020 you started really – now, this isn't easy to do. No. You no. mentioned getting a team and mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah. From now, what's the next phase of the app promotion, et cetera? What's the next part of it? So right now, we've kind of been in that next phase that okay. you're talking about. We're a, we've are we been doing like a restructuring on our code base just because, um, you know, through the span of four years, we've had a couple different people, a couple different people like freelancers that we've hired for coding and development that have touched the code base. And we wanted to kind of get it like, you know, our team right now is pretty solid. Like we mm-hmm. kind of see that this is our like our end team for sure. So we're trying to like lock in that code base and do a restructuring to where it's like, OK, there isn't 13 different hands mixed in this code yeah, base. Yeah. When we got an error, we know exactly what string we need to go to, who wrote this, we wrote this and we could touch it up and fix it. So we're about actually like kind of to the end point of wrapping that up. Um, and so after that, we're going to hit kind of the ground hard with uh, promotion and stuff because we still have not put any money into like paid advertising or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So everything's been natural growth so far. That's I, I'll even say piggybacking off what he said. We just wanted to get the foundation to where we liked it. Uh, of course, it won't be perfect. Rome wasn't built in a day. But once we got it to a point where we're comfortable putting it out there, that's why that's when I hit up field. That's yeah. like. Hey, I appreciate that invite you gave me a year ago, but hey, I, I think we're good now. So we want people to be able to get on the app and have y'all's user experience be the best user experience. Flawless, have. yeah. And with that, we just want to build, take user feedback uh, from the public, you know, reviews and keep adding features that we have in mind to the app. I mean, we got some in mind already, but it's always good to hear from the public and see what they want. You know, oh, for sure. why aren't you using the app or how could you use that better? We want to take all that, uh, the logistics and things like that, talk amongst our team and keep building on it that way. What type of feedback have y'all gotten already? Man, I get I get nothing but positive feedback. Oh, that's what's like, up. It, it, that's it's what's been up. positive like, for sure. Like I'm I'm talking like I get a call like midnight mm-hmm. and it's like a, a a friend or something. They like, hey, hey, I just use your app, man. It go crazy. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, bro, you you done watched me work on it for two three years. Yeah. So nah, yeah. I've, I've gotten great feedback from the yeah. people who use it. Uh, nothing really negative other than uh, you know, some bugs we might have had. Mm-hmm. Like somebody, hey, this not working and. Again, those are things we don't know because if you find a bug on your phone, I might not see it. So Straight up. Got you. It's, it's, we can't fix it until we know about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nothing negative. I mean, yeah, nobody saw there's anything negative so far. It's been nothing but positive when people actually use that. But yeah, it's funny like what he says. I mean, most of the feedback comes from someone calling you like, hey, bro, this, this app you made, it works. It's like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I yeah. mean, that, that's yeah. the point. But yeah. yeah, it's always like that for some reason. So who are y'all competitors then? Like, is there a competitor in the space that y'all are doing now? I don't think we have a competitor right now because uh, what we did, it's new. We didn't, I'm not going to even say we reinvented the wheel, but we took two wheels and combined them. Exactly. Okay. We, yeah. took, okay. we, we took GPS and we took social media and we took, you know, some Google APIs and we mm-hmm. mix it all into one and that's our app. Uh, so we don't have any competitors as of now. Uh, we competing with ourselves. We're just trying to build on our app, make it better and better every day. Yeah. Y'all created y'all own lane. That's so dope. That's real dope. Um, mm-hmm. What when y'all when y'all talk about advertisement, what, what's that gonna look like for you guys? So right now we got uh which I've sent you a video and I can I can even show you. We haven't posted anything yet. Mm-hmm. Uh but we got this thing called Link of the Week that we decided to do, mm-hmm. which my videographer, mm-hmm. video peel, studio peel, uh been helping us out with. Mm-hmm. And that's where we basically collab with uh different organizations, people, 
and businesses and we show people how to use the app in real time. Okay. Because we figured like, okay, we know how to use that, but we know how to use that because we built it. Right. right. But we have to show people how to use that. We have to show them this is what you could do with it. So we got a couple of cool videos. We got the shoe. Uh, we're going to make this a, a link of the week video. Even though we're not showing people how to use it in real time, we're talking about it. So we figured we, you know, include well, But why don't we show people? Because we, 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 we here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but we but we can still, sh like, give them where to yeah. get the app from. We, we, can, do that. we yeah, can do that. We can do that, do that for sure. But I'm talking, yeah. like, physically showing you press this button, press that button. Oh, you okay. go through the whole thing. In, I, I, in real I basically time. in clips. Okay, yeah, it'll okay. be chopped up. Okay. It'll be okay. clean, nice and easy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then we on TikTok we do what's called a link challenge. Uh, different people have done it where they actually show themselves using the app in different places. Like again, I, I oh, got. We the, need to do that. Yeah, we, we need do to it. do that. Yeah, not. Nah, I mean, if y'all check us out on TikTok on Instagram at Link Point, we got some dope videos. Yeah, we had a Christmas tree video that went crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. One in Europe and Croatia, mm -hmm. people used. Uh, that's wow. the other thing is it works everywhere. Wow. So that's the point. So it's like that was another like big thing where people were like, "Oh, it really works out here." And like yeah. we were shooting videos and like, yeah, it works just fine. I was out there in Europe and I shot a video and it worked completely fine. Like yeah, yeah like a big misconception is people think because I'm from Houston, he's from Austin. It's like a Texas based thing. Yeah. But no, the app works yeah. anywhere GPS works. Yeah, anywhere. Wow, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So so to me, it sounds like then since there's no competitors. <laughs> You all have a runway mm -hmm. that a lot of tech companies don't get, because what y'all classify yourself as a tech company. I mean, yeah, I would say so. The thing is, though, like what you have to take into account is like you know you're saying like we have this open pathway, and and that probably leads you to like your next thought is like why aren't y'all completely successful, rich and balling yet? Not at all. This no, open not not at all. Not at all. Not this not is impressive. this is me saying that I know that where y'all are at in the process, mm -hmm. there are steps that'll make y'all be mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the next. For sure. You know, not to use these names, but um, Uber, uh, the next, because anything that uses location based, y'all are kind of in that lane. Potential. But potential. you're different. Yeah, yeah. But you're different, though. For sure. And I mean, what I, what I was trying to get to at the end of that was I wasn't just trying to say you were no, you're good. But, you're good. Um, what I was trying to get to at the end of that was that, you know, our team is small, like including yeah. me and Devin is four of us. And the other thing is whenever we have a new problem arise or something that goes on, we're not like, all right. Swipe the credit card, yeah. pay a freelancer to do this. No, mm -hmm. like we try to search it up, learn it. Like we try to figure it out ourselves. And that takes a lot of time. And, you know, every single one of us is balancing like other like nine to fives outside yeah, of work. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. it really does take a lot of time. And it's like, when you come off work and you're just like super tired and it's like, dude, if I, if I give up another day, the app's just sitting there. Like, now nah, we got to keep progressing. Damn, well, we be complaining about shooting podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> They're here, they coding and doing um, real work. We be complaining about that. So both of y'all code then also? Uh, No, not really. Both of us have some coding experience okay. just from college because we both did engineering. Yeah. But um, we have our two main developers. So like our, our team is a full stack team. So you have a front end and back end developer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And like I said, that's also a small team because you usually have multiple people in each uh, premise. But we're at a point that we know exactly like I have enough coding background to understand that we're making progress. So when we have our meetings and I'm checking on like what kind of progress we're making and stuff like that, um, I have enough knowledge to know that our developers are making progress and that it's not just like, because, you know, if we had zero coding background, right, and we had like two freelancers, they could tell us whatever they wanted. Charge like, you oh, whatever yeah, they we're, wanted. We're yeah. making this, we're making yeah. it. But like, I can see it through and I can be like, all right, come on. Like, I, you know, I, I know the game a little bit. Like, I know that this isn't progress. I know, you know, stuff like that. So. As you guys are sitting here talking about your app and the development of it, how does it make you feel like inside? Like, what, what do you guys feel like that you guys created something that's going to be useful to the world. That's that's big. That's that's super big. So what does that make you feel like? On inside? Honestly, I don't, I don't really feel it. Like mm -hmm. you know, I, yeah, it's more same. like you know, put your head down and keep working exactly. on it. Yeah. Um, not saying I'm not grateful because yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, we had a goal and we we reached that goal. Yeah. We, I mean, the app is out. It's out on iOS. You can download it. You can use it, and it can do exactly what we wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. But uh. I think we won't be satisfied until it reaches, you know, a lot of people. Yeah, mm -hmm. you want mass adoption. Right. I want mass yeah. I want somebody to come up to me and be like, hey man, you need to download this app because <laughs> not knowing you. I'll be like, man, bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the same kind of thing. But, for sure, for but sure. I mean, even piggybacking off what he said, we're kind of like always even when we met each other, it's kind of like slow and steady wins the race, like put our head down, like yeah. knock it out the work. Even like tying back to college, like we were just on different stuff. Like there was plenty of parties and all that we had a crazy um townhome that we were living in mm -hmm. and it's like 
throughout that whole time, we only had thrown one party there. It's just because we were just too like locked into the grind. So it's just yeah, like, man, I ain't been we're just that same in, way. Nah, 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 hold on, LP. This story kind of sounds like ours. Now, I wasn't with y'all when y'all first started the yeah, podcast, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they saying that they put their heads down and really dialed in on something. I think that but we, we have a, we had parties. We, we had parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, hey, he's party, keeping it a bug. We had like, parties, but yeah. we dialed in on something because we were in people's houses. Straight up. Uh, we used garages. Uh, we used the garage. We were in the middle of a uh, a drug a, raid. Uh, we we shot an episode <laughs> wow. in the middle of a uh, a drug raid. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but, but progression, man, progression, and, and keeping your head down. And was that part focused. of the pod? The drug? Dude, raid? No, we had to cut that no, out. We, right, that right, out. But, we didn't know we was gonna make it out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but we kept our head down, man. We stayed focused. Uh, we stuck together, and we we put in the work every week. You know what I'm saying? And I, I can see that from y'all uh, just putting y'all head down, having a goal, a vision. And, uh, you know, when you said, like, you want somebody to come up to you and be like, hey, download this app, this app, cool. Yeah. That's how I feel. Like, when it somebody come up to me and yeah. be like, man, you from the podcast, that's cool. I had a dude, I was at an event, and this is a true story. I was at an event, and I seen a dude, you know how you, you, you peep the situation, you, you peep your... Your, your, your whole yeah, surround, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. And I seen him cut his eyes at me. Dude made a full circle to come back around and bump into me. Oh, hey, hey, you that guy from the podcast. <laughs> he had to make it nonchalant. Yeah, I had yeah. to make it. But I seen him, though. But it, it's just like that, you know, getting that gratification from, yeah. you know, from someone that watching your show. And when that happens to y'all, man, y'all going to feel it. Y'all going to be like, damn, this is... This is all worth it, you know what I mean? And even and even like what y'all just said, didn't y'all like recently like hit a, like a milestone like y'all broke, what, top 20, was it? Yeah, like yeah. top 25. 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. It's like yeah. that didn't awesome. happen in one episode. It did not. Nah, nah, yeah, it did which not. y'all, you 281? Yeah. Yeah, H-Town yeah. 281. You know, <laughs> straight, straight up. up. Straight yeah. up. 281, but you know what I'm saying? That's That just goes to show like y'all's background and the work y'all constantly put in, it, it didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. so, man. so what's y'all next five years? I, I'm going to say this and I'll let him give a different answer because this is me personal. I don't look at five years. Okay. I look at today and I look at tomorrow. So what we're doing today is progressing the app because we here y'all gave us a platform to be able to speak on. So that's that's progress to me. So as long as tomorrow we're able to you know talk about something and make some more progress, I'm not looking at five years. Because in five years, we're going to look back and be like, because mm -hmm. even five years ago when we yeah. were in college, we probably didn't have this drip that you talking about. Yeah, man. yeah, I came drip down. Like, I, yeah, I'm a little offended. <laughs> man, bro, been having it. Man. Nah, I've been knowing this since he was little. No. Nah, he been having it. Well, this is Brooke's nephew. Oh, you know, this is nah, Brooke's nephew, no, okay. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, we, and Brooke, I, put the camera on me real quick. Brooke, if you keep saying I'm smart, bro, we boxing. Like, I, 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 want, I don't want to be the smartest person. We, we fighting, Brooke, next time I see you. Just straight up. All right, go ahead. My bad. I ain't going to lie. Brooke got him, man. Watch out. <laughs> But nah, uh, but anyway, anyway, like like I was saying, like we didn't have an app five years ago, at least straight up, yeah. straight up. So it's like the work we put in college, how we grinded like that, it, it translated into today. So that's why I don't look into five years because you can make your own plan, but when that plan doesn't go according to how you plan, yeah. how you how you gonna feel about it? You gonna crash? Yeah. How are you gonna quit? Are you gonna? So it's just like continue making progress and, and grade yourself daily. I feel mm -hmm. yeah. that's dope. Yeah, that's, yeah. No. And so are we gonna put us on the spot right now. How can we help y'all? Uh, I think y'all did enough. Y'all put us on a podcast. Y'all yeah. gave us a voice. Uh, y'all can help us by, you know, if y'all go on a date, if y'all meeting up with somebody, hey, you know, send them that link point out. Mm -hmm. Tell them, hey, I'm not meeting you. Be stubborn about it, you know. I'm not meeting you until, you know, you, you meet me in the middle. So what you think? You He said a different answer. So what do you think? Five. Next five years. Next five years. Um, I mean, he kind of hit it on the nail. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like five years ago, we didn't even have this. And we really just look at it day by day. I mean, we have at least three meetings a week, so it's mm. like um, we're we're pretty locked in. Yeah. Um, we know what like our plans are for the next week, but like as far as scope outside of that, I mean, just to be real, it's just uh, progressing and and getting to a point where, like he said, you could walk down the street and like someone just you see out the corner of your eye like someone has the app on their phone. But you definitely want this to be your. Replace. You don't want to work nine to fives here, Vic. Uh, I mean, for that's sure. Goal, right? I mean, yeah, yeah we yeah, want to yeah. lock in and com continue to craft our own craft. Like yeah. that's always yeah. the goal. If, at the if, end of if the day. Link Point retires, I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's right. being yeah. he's being humble right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, but that's real though. Yeah. I think people embark on these things and it's not to have two, three, four jobs. Yeah. It's to maybe have that one thing that you passionate about that you started, yeah, for that sure. you can give to people. Not only are you helping people, but also you get to benefit from it as well. And that's what the ain't that the American dream. Yeah, and, and, and the goal, you know, Truly. it's a super cool pick of Steve Jobs. I don't know if you ever seen it, where he's like walking out of Apple store and don't nobody know who he is. That's what's up. Wow, I gotta show y'all. But yeah, yeah, you, that's that's kind of like how I would like it. Like, yeah, everybody using it around me, but it's like, well, Devo, you got too y'all both y'all too much. They got too much drip. Yeah. Nobody gonna notice you. You need to stay <laughs> a white t-shirt. What you Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somebody gonna notice you, bro. Somebody gonna notice you, man. But man, we enjoy having you straight up on explaining this out, man. We know it's big things in the future for you guys. Where can they find y'all? Yeah. Uh, so again, I've been, you know working, trying to create videos, content, things like that. So I'm thinking about making another Instagram page. I haven't popped out yet, but right now we do have our main Instagram page, uh, link point, L-Y-N-Q-P-O-N-P-O-I-N-T uh, on Twitter, TikTok, TikTok and Instagram. Instagram. And that's pretty much how you can find us. Mm -hmm. Boys in sync too. You yep. notice that, yeah, right? Yeah, like they day. saying at the same time. <laughs> that must be a part of y'all three three meetings a week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we practice and rehearse. Practice yeah, week, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, For sure. you know what? I want to give y'all some game. Use Facebook too, man. Straight up, because yeah, we didn't true. even know we had a Facebook. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> for, for no. a long time, bro. And somehow we end up with like 10,000 yeah. followers on Facebook. Use, we didn't even know. Use Facebook yeah. because older people might probably feel. use that no, Oh, yeah. True. Older people will probably use that app more yeah. than the younger people. I definitely see that. You know, younger people will catch on later, later and they'll be like, oh, this is a cool app. But older people will try it. You know, yeah. it, you know, they will. They will. I definitely see the Facebook idea for mm -hmm. sure. Um, the Facebook is, is where it's at. All right. So leave the people with some closing thoughts. What do you want people to know as we close out today about Link Point? What y'all want them to have? Uh, I just want people to know Link Point is that new technology that's never existed before. Agreed. That, uh, you know, uh, it makes meeting convenient. It makes meeting easy. It makes meeting safe. And it defeats the planning process. So when you have to think about man, where you trying to go? You want to do this? Nah, mm -hmm. no more of that. It plans for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can discover new places. It's a good option for small businesses that you would never go to. If you want wings and you think you want B-dubs or you think you want wings and more or whatever, and you might find some local wing shop between you and somebody else that you never heard of, but it's booming. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we trying to put everybody on the map. We trying to make meeting convenient, safe. Uh, and yeah, it's out right now on iOS. And again, we just like y'all's feedback and to tell us what we can do better to make your user experience, you know, for better sure. for y'all. For sure. And another uh, no excuse point is if any of y'all are on dating apps, Tinder, whatever, Link Point is literally like the next step to that. You match up with somebody. What's the next step? You go out for a drink. You go out to get to know somebody. You don't know where they stay. They don't mm -hmm. know where you stay. Maybe you don't want them to know where you stay off yeah. rip, right? That's typically how it goes. You want to get to know them first. Match on Tinder, whatever, any, any of the dating apps. Hop on Link Point, search up bars, find the bars between y'all without revealing where y'all are coming from, where y'all are at, completely safe. Pick a bar, go get to meet that person that you matched with, you know, so it's like. That's, but that was going to be a part <laughs> of your <laughs> fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> because, because that's the piece that people are missing, the the safety and stuff in those type of arrangements. So you're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And before we go, you know, you can download the app right now on the iOS store. It's available. Uh, download it. Give us a review. Mm -hmm. Even if you think it's one star, be honest with us, you know, but we're working. And again, just let us know what we can do better. But right now it's out on iOS. Go get that today. Yeah. L-Y-N-Q point. Yes. yes. Let's link. Let's link. Yeah. We make linking easier. Let's we link. make linking easy. Yeah. That's dope.